and thank you for joining us for Preschool Storytime. Before we get started with our stories, I thought maybe we could get the Wiggly Jigglies out. Let's get up, let's stand up, and let's do a song. This week, it's Happy and You Know It. Does everybody know that song? If not, don't worry, I'll tell you. Ready? Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I said stomp your feet. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Oh, shout hooray. Hooray. Really loud. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. Good job. Now we're going to do all three. Can we do all three? Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Ready? Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Hi, thanks for joining us for Preschool Storytime. This week we're going to talk about kindergarten. It won't be long till you'll be going back to school, and I bet some of you will be going to kindergarten. It's very exciting. So the first book we're going to read is The Night Before Kindergarten. It was the night before kindergarten and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. They tossed and they turned about in their beds while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore while were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. In the morning it came, school starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids pose for pictures and their eyes sparkling bright. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in their cars as they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, you're big kids, no, wow! Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. The parents were worried their children would cry if they were left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be a-okay. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. The room was all filled with toys and books and maps, but the, where were the beds for a mid-morning nap? They colored and painted and played, Simon says. They tumbled and skipped and stood on their heads. They sang silly songs and from beginning to end, within just a minute, each kid had a friend. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sun Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. when what to her wondering eyes should appear but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears. Their noses so sniffly, their eyes red and wet. This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise has seen yet. 
She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug and then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door of the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. And that was the first, the first, the night before Christmas. Kindergarten at Christmas. Kind of sounded like that though. The night before kindergarten. Try it again. Ready? And that was the night before kindergarten. All right. Let's see what else we have. Mom, it's my first day of kindergarten. Mom, wake up. It's my first day of kindergarten. Mom makes my lunch and she starts to worry. Do they have snacks in kindergarten? What if you don't have time to finish your sandwich at lunch? Oh, you'll be so hungry. I can eat fast, Mom. Did I pack all your school supplies? What if I forgot something? She worries and worries. Mom, I have my crayons and markers and everything. I'm all set. Oh dear, look at the time. You'll be late for school. Don't worry, Mom, we can run. Well, you may be okay in the big kid's school. Will you be okay in the big kid's school? We're still, you're still so little. Mom, don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm already five. Oh, it's such a big school. You could get lost here. Mom, it's not that big. I think it's just right for a big boy like me. Mom doesn't look happy. We don't know anyone here. I miss your old teachers and your friends. I like to make new friends, Mom. And you'll make new friends too in no time. I say hi to the girl with a pink ribbon. She says hi. And her mother and her mom says hi to my mom. My mom smiles back. We find my classroom. The door is open. Oh, oh, mom, maybe I'm not ready for this. Mom sighs. I'm sure you'll be fine in kindergarten, she says. Then my teacher comes out to greet us. She smiles and says, hello, are you ready for kindergarten? And then I, I know. Oh yes, I'm ready for kindergarten. I've been waiting for this all summer. I'm five. It's time for me to go to the big kids school. And I walk right into the classroom. When my teacher says parents should leave, mom hugs me and kisses me hugs me and kisses me. I say, bye. Then we get to work. Kindergarten is awesome. I spent all day with my new friends. Before I knew it, it's time to go home. When we line up, I feel so much bigger. We follow our teacher out to the schoolyard and there's mom waiting for me. I hug her and she hugs me. How was school? She asked. It's awesome, I say. You're right. You're just the right size for the big kids school. I'm so proud of you, mom says. And I tell her all about my first day of kindergarten. Mom, can I take the school bus tomorrow? Please. Oh dear. And that was mom. It's my first day of kindergarten. I have one last book about kindergarten. I know you're really excited to start at school. And this story is about Miss Spindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. It is the first
first day of kindergarten. And oh, 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 Adam Crump wakes up. Brenda Heath brushes her teeth. Christopher Becker finds Christopher Beaker finds his sneaker. Miss Bindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. Danny Hess rushes to dress. Emily Moko cools her cocoa. Fran Lister kisses her sister. Miss Spindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. Gwen McGunny packs her bunny. Henry Fetters fights his sweater. Ian Lowe says, I won't go. Miss Spindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. Jesse Syke pedals her bike. Lenny Loom says, vroom, vroom, vroom. Kiki Wong hops along. I missed the K, didn't I? Miss Bindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. Have you noticed? Now we're on M. We're doing the alphabet. Maddie Lindo looks out the window. Noah Boone climbs right on. Ophelia Nay hugs goodbye. Miss Bindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. What is she doing? So her bird, pet bird, is helping her. And now she's measuring how tall her little parrot, classroom parrot, is. Patricia Packer sneaks a cracker. Quentin Wend high fives his friend. Raffi Mack high fives back. Sarah Von Hoof is the first one. Off. Miss Bindergarten is almost ready for kindergarten. Tommy Tuttle jumps a puddle. Ursula Crew ties her shoe. Vicky Denzel bites her pencil. Now Miss Bindergarten is all ready for kindergarten. Wanda Chin marches in. Xavier Rowe yells, hello. Yolanda Pound looks around. Zach Blair finds his chair. Good morning, kindergarten, says Miss Bindergarten. And oh, oh, the fun, the fun's begun. Everybody's doing something. And that is Miss Pindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. So I hope you're excited for kindergarten if you're going. If not, we'll see you next time for the next virtual story time. But if you are, good luck and have a wonderful day. See you next time.